Artistic Soul 347, come back to you guys again. What am I gonna do? Bring in the whore. So we're gonna start out with just the uh, just the six of the base boosters, and then we're just gonna do a little video of all the labs. So uh, one for you, one for me. I'm gonna start out with uh, the Great Cthulhu featured on the box. So uh, probably gonna get one of his uh, minions here. Hopefully, I'm hoping to not get a zombie. <laughs> yeah, if you seen our last horror clicks video, we already opened a freaking uh what are they called again? Brick. Brick. A brick of these. <laughs> so I'm expecting oh shit, my victim. My victim jumped, she jumped. Hold on. I got a prom queen. I'm gonna need this freaking flashlight. No, nope, there he is right there. It does feel good to kill prom queens. <sighs> boyfriend. I got boyfriend. Oh. I did not realize that that came from the starter set, but I guess I should have. I got Secret Passage. I like that card. That is I'm, a good card. I pwned him with that card the last game we played. You certainly did. And I got another Mesmerized. Which is uh, victim, female victim, false prey to mind control. If you have forgotten from last time, you have to have a vampire in order to play this card. Play this card when a female chosen victim is selected. You move the chosen victim. You also like cards like that. I do. I more so prefer ones that hurt the monster that's attacking them. Yeah, those are great, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Where's my turns? Or twists? Sorry. Um, I gotta... Watch out! And subplot Guardian's mission. Choose one victim archetype. When you play this card, the choice cannot be changed for your victim of this archetype that is rescued. Well, unless you control, you save an extra 25 victory points. Okay, I think I've had that soft lot before. Um, all the ones that I have bought out, brought out of this pack are all duplicates of what I've had before. Oh, lucky me. Did you get anything new? Yes. I got a Kristoff, I mean, Vampire Enforcer. We've had them before, I thought. Nope. No? I don't think we had. No. Maybe we did. Let know. me see him. That is the uh, blue. Oh, no, we have monkey. it. Huh. He is Mr. Fancy. Well, not so much pants. He's got pants, but they're not that fancy. His, his uh, jacket is pretty fancy. As I said, antagonist, well, first antagonist huh. in uh, Underworld. Basically, yeah. And then, Serial Killer, Hook! That is the yellow one, which... Is, oh, okay. Was yellow rookie, or was it blue? Do you remember how we figured? Well, well, it was the middle one. Okay. Then we got a... Uh, exp experienced? Runaway? I think the okay, last one we had was experienced as well. Okay. And then... Of course, an experienced zombie cop. Africa. Alright. But yeah, I got a... <laughs> Skeletal Maiden. I mean, she, she's still awesome, any way you put it. But I have like freaking half a dozen of these now. <laughs> got another... What is it? A devil oh. amp. Well, we have the expert now. Well, yeah. Veteran? Veteran. 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 And, uh... Uh... Nosferatu. And an evil leprechaun. Veteran evil leprechaun. Yes. Best be leaving him pot of gold alone. Yeah. He'll whack you in the head with it. Okay, so... 
out of these guys. Let's stick these over here. Next box. I got a little vampire woman. I got a werewolf. Right on cue. <laughs> I don't know if they would pick that up though. So. Ooh, what is that? Yeah. Ah, get him out of there. Hold on. My victim's going to fly up the bottom again. Here it is. My victim is a it's cop. It's just a cop. There's that guy. And yellow is intermediate or rookie? You know what? I don't remember the names for these. Oh, I should. Sorry. I'm getting into this game enough. I should. I have the yellow <laughs> version of the dog soldier. I got him too. I don't think mine's the blue one though. The hell is well, this we'll guy? We'll figure out again. Just based Ooh. off of how many points it is. Okay. Mine is 25. <laughs> if yours is more than 25, no. then that's all right. Oh, well, mine is 30. Then yellow is rookie. Blue is experienced. And B is. And red is veteran. You got a hairspray blue torch and a. I'm going to go anywhere. Okay. I got a totally not. Buffy! <laughs> Vampire Hunter! She's not that buff. A little. But anyway. So, oh. A. Oh. I don't think we had the veteran uh, of uh, Mr. Fright. I, we Most have like three of them. But yeah. I don't know if it was the veteran. So we'll see. Rookie uh, Vampire Hunter, Rookie Dog Soldier, and another Rookie Devil Imp. Well, my victim this time is the Jock. Jock. Just something that feels so good about killing the high school stereotypes. And I got a stuck door this time. Um, huh. A series of doors slams shut, limiting the victim's path. Play this card when a chosen victim is selected. All open portals are considered closed until the chosen victim's movement ends. You can also play this card on your turn to re-roll one attack roll. You must use the re-roll results. That's pretty good. And another silver crucifix. Like I said, I'm all about the cards that will deal damage to my opponent's monsters. Um, this one, it has to, the victim has to be or it has to be about to be slain by a werewolf or vampire. The monster takes one damage on a d6 with the result of four to six. The slaying attempt fails, and you can move the victim one space. Which, what happens if there's a monster occupying the, own, like, you can only move it to to a space that's mm. occupied by a monster. Do they get an attempt to slay the victim on their next turn? Rules say yes. Mm. Well, I got a few interesting ones. I, I did get another uh, dog soldier. However... That is the veteran. I got, I got a dire wolf. He is part of the pack, I believe. The veteran, yeah, he is. He's got the little paw print. Um, now I got a executed convict. That's he's uh, entirely clear. Um, he's painted on this, uh, but he is entirely clear. 
on that this one. That makes him a ghost. He is. And as he we is know from other well, he clear ones like walls. that. Yep. But I did get a uh, unique one. Oh. It is the Fiend. I've been wanting one of him for the longest time. <laughs> it's essentially Frankenstein's monster. Yeah. It, yeah, it looks a lot like a, he's a sewn-together kind of guy, and has a little bit of a... See, these things coming up behind him, they're like like arguing with blue electricity over his head here. That's a really nicely detailed mini there. Um, he's actually really tall compared to a lot of the other minis. Um, he, he's, he's, he's got an extra twist, and he's a 100-point monster, um, he doesn't have that many details. What is he? Um, uh, Undead Legend. Okay. And uh, he's got a... Um, well, he, he starts invulnerable, which uh, damage dealt to him is reduced by two. And he's not vulnerable when he has two action tokens. And he has rage. That means at the beginning of your turn, you may turn this monster's dial to the red starting line and flip this card. Which, you flip it and he's still invulnerable, but he also has Rampage, which means if he kills a monster, he makes another close combat attack as a free action. So, if there's a lot of people ganging up on him, and he manages to kill somebody... He goes right to the next guy. So that's that, that's a decent unique. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd want him on my team yet, but it's pretty decent. All right, one more for our regular uh, boosters. I don't know. Like box. Oh, this box is extra gluey. Okay, here we go. Popping out the bottom. It's the nerd. Have we had a nerd before? I don't know. I don't think we have. Um, let's see what twists. Oh my god, gosh. And I got another cheerleader. Oh, okay. Freaking cheerleaders. Frozen with fear and a subplot with your hatred. Let's see if I got any nifty monsters. I think they're all dupes again. And it is the rookie version of the executed convict. Oh, okay. He's, uh, this one's completely painted. I mean, you see my last one, he was all completely see through. This one painted. It's the rookie version of the Razor Vixens. Oh, okay. I like them because each one is different, and they're one of the she few. Kind of reminds me of Witch Hunter Robin. Yeah, she's a vampire. They're one of the few in this series where all of them, each one of the different ranks, looks different. Huh. Well? Are you ready to have another unique that you want to add Ooh. to your group? <laughs> sure. Jekyll and Hyde. Oh, I already we got out one of them. Do we? Yeah. Well, we got one. Now we have You two. were with me in the last video, right? Wasn't I? I don't know. Yeah, I got all noobs again here. But yeah, we already got a Jekyll and Hyde. I don't think I wanted to add him to my uh, um, my team for some reason. I don't know, I'm pretty picky. But yeah, again, just like last time, the details on this guy's mini are superb. They're just, they're amazing. You, you gotta be here in prison. I don't have a macro on my camera, and so I can't show you these guys. A rookie dire wolf. 
My twist this time were ticking clock, stroke of midnight, which um, the way the ticking clock cards work is you can only play it if someone played the card, the ticking clock card that goes right before it. In this case, the one that this one needs is just after sun sunset. We got that one. We got that one. And what this one does is you get a reroll one attack made by an occultist, slasher, or spirit you control. And you must use the reroll results. And then Unlucky in Love, which I think you used this card on me last time we played Maybe. and you were playing as Crimson. <laughs> Place this card when a victim is. Or, Play this card when a victim is slain. If the victim adjacent to the victim, or if the victim adjacent to the face of, if the victim is adjacent to a face up victim of the opposite sex, also remove it from the game. Right. Bit of a tongue twister there. <laughs> Just because, from what I remember, Crimson had, or maybe Crimson has that power built in. Or she can slay a couple. No, no. Her, she gets... She deals more damage the more male victims she kills. But yeah, I just... I got another deep one. Uh, got yet another... Demon Imp. Or Devil Imp. Devil Imp. Another Jester. The rookie d deep one is actually part of the... Ry Riley, Riley, come on. So much on, I'm sorry. It's getting late here, guys. But I'm going to make it through. I got a Father Priest. I think I had one. Yeah, I think I had that one. one's slightly different based off of uh, what rank he is, too. Yeah. It, like... Instead of his paint changing, his weapon changes. Oh. But anyway, we're about to go do the labs next. This one that was gonna be a while because we have lots. Yep. But we're gonna get to it, so see you in a bit. Oh.